Hi, I'm Ivan here with Vine Skills, and I want to do a quick demo on how to use Vine Sign inside FileVine. So I, I'm just in a in a demo project right here, and any org, you go to your Docs folder right here on the side, and I've hidden the tabs here just so we get some more space. But go to your Docs folder. You need a PDF document to be able to use Vine Sign. That's an important thing. Um, I'm using a W9 here just as a standard W9, blank W9. And you're going to go here to this three dots and click Vine Sign on this right here. So when that, when you click that, you're going to open a different tab. Now, mind you, you have to log into your Vine Sign. If you're not logged into your Vine Sign, it's going to ask you for login credentials. Uh, once you do that, let me move myself out of here a little bit. Once you do that, it asks you to configure the document. Um, and the way you do that is you want to set your signature box and your name and date, whatever you need your client to sign. So for example, I'm going to put a signature box and I'm going to put current date, which can actually be captured automatically. So your client doesn't really need to type that in. Uh, and you can put initials and name. I'm going to keep this simple for now, but you get the idea. And you can adjust these boxes, by the way, as well. So that's really neat. Uh, actually, there we go. You can adjust these boxes right there. For signature, I recommend a slightly larger box, especially if you want them to handwrite their signature, but we'll get to that in a second. So right there, I configured my, uh, here, I configured my document the way I want. I can click next and it's gonna ask me for a few important things here. So the document name, I'm gonna call this W9. Um, and then it's already associated with the project that I opened in FileVine. But if you want to associate with a different project, you can do it right here and you can search for a project. Uh, or another really neat thing is it's going to ask you for the recipients or who do you want to send this to? Um, I can, for example, I think I have a demo client right here. And you can, so right now I have a demo client which has my phone number and my email. So it pulls that email and phone number right now. And I can limit this to project contacts as well, which is only going to show you the contacts inside your project. So it may not really just be sending it to your client. It can be sending it to somebody else. So uh, right there, I can require just authentication and I can expire it in 24 hours. There's a few other things in here. Also, some interesting settings is uh, you can have some signature color. But what I really like is this message settings right here. So. This allows you to customize the message that you're sending to your client, um, as well as doing it in Spanish, which I think is really, really neat. Uh, so I'm going to leave it there. Everything's standard. One of the good uses for this is if you're sending your own person with maybe a tablet to get your signature from the client, they are going to get a personalized message. So that's pretty cool right there. I don't have, I'm going to save it as a template, but you can save this as a template and then you just can pull up that template later. Uh, and let's just look at send. So I'm going to actually uh, go to my cell phone, which I have right here. Uh, and I'm going to sign this document on my cell phone, which I just got a message uh, that looks just like this. Uh, the message has a link and I can click that link right there. I know this is not ideal, but uh, I can click that link right there. Now, let me show you before I sign this, this message, let me go back to FileVine because this is something cool that's going to happen right here is once I click done, it's going to go out and then I have inside FileVine, let me refresh for a second so I can see what the updates. See, right here, there is this V, this black V on the side. That means this document was sent through Vine sign, but not signed just yet, right? So that's a pending signature right there. Um, and I think there is a way, let me see if I can find that right here. So yeah, so that's a that, that's the signature, that that's a sign that says this document has not been signed yet. So I'm gonna go ahead here and sign it on my phone. Okay, and I'll click finish. It's gonna upload this document. It says it may take a couple of minutes, so I might just pause this video and wait, but here we go. I get a success document signed. I get a copy of the document as well, so your client is going to get that. I also got an email with the copy of the document. And then I can just, if I, let me try to refresh this again and see if it already marked it as signed. 
it did not yet but that v is going to be green and i'm also going to go to my activity feed which here we go so my activity feed also posts a document and whenever the client signs okay so in your activity feed you're going to get a message just saying this just saying the document name and the sign url and this sends you back to your um document i can download that right there it shows the time that it was signed the person who signed it and you got the document right here as well so let me go back to the documents let's see if that's now marked in a different color um oh here we go this is now marked as divine sign sign document right here okay and this is the verification document let's pull it up so we can take a look at what it looks like this should be the verification from Vine Sign. This is what they require for extra verification uh, on, on the document. And this is your document. And let's look at that to see if it shows my signature All right there. So I just scramble something in there. And that's the signed document that I just signed on my phone. And that's how you send a document from inside FileVine using the Vine Sign integration. Thank you.